So really interesting to see here at the Marine Mammal Center in the Red Headlands uh, how much uh, outreach is going on with regards to marine debris, trash, and plastic. So this current project is an effort, um, a collaboration with artists and, and uh, pulling out uh, materials from uh, stuff that they retrieve from animals uh, that are tangled or ingested debris. And um, in this exhibit is noted that 8% of the animals that they treat of mostly pinnipeds have something, um, some type of human caused hazard. So it could be a fish hook or um, very commonly entanglement or ingestion of uh, debris and plastic and such. Um, probably the neatest uh, exhibit is this uh, ghost net monster that's out here. And so this guy is similar to some of the pieces that we've uh, done and talked about, um, which is, uh, in this case, this is all material from the, the, one of the large gyres in the middle of the Pacific. And uh, these guys have collected all this stuff and they've turned it into um, a, a scary monster walking towards you. Um, again, uh, lots of evidence that this stuff is causing hazards to a whole variety of critters, including marine mammals. Um, and this, this graphic talks about a 2008 uh, moderately sized sperm whale that um, had uh, in its gut 450 pounds of um, non-digestible plastics and other things. So um, everybody seems to be interested in discussing the marine debris question these days. Not everybody's interested in proposing solutions, but at least the awareness is becoming more and more ubiquitous in a whole variety of natural history museums, education centers, and, and the like, um, not just in California, but across the U.S.